Hi, hello everyone. I'm Aman Work, and in this particular video, I'm going to walk you through on how to set up the invoice maker, which is available on Code Cannon. So, once you are done downloading the files from Code Cannon, all you need to do is drop the zip folder inside your server directory. As I'm on Windows, I have a local server called WAMP installed. Uh, I believe if you're going to put it on a live server, you're going to put it inside public HTML or any other uh, workspace provided to you. So, once you are done doing that, uh, go ahead and extract all the files. The one I'm going to do right now, it's going to create a folder called invoice for code canon for me. Uh, the one I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, browse this particular directory inside my browser. So, if it's a fresh installation, what it's going to do for us, it's going to redirect us to the installation process. So, next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit go. Uh, next, it's going to ask you for your database credentials. So, I do remember mine and it's a local host, so they are really simple, but you need to use the credentials provided to you by your hosting provider. So, here I'm going to say local host, the user going to be for me like root. Uh, I don't have any password and I'm going to create a database called invoice maker. So, next thing I need to do is I need to create this particular database. So, here I'm going to say invoice maker. Once that done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit submit. Here it says you got it, necessary tables created, hit next. So first we're going to check out whether we have the tables or not. Yep, we do have. Uh, next thing is we need to hit this particular button called next and it's going to ask, you know, uh, the very first user credentials. So you can choose a na username. I'm going to choose mine to like uh, my first name. You can choose um, an email so I'm gonna use the support email for my blog uh, the next thing gonna be a password so I'm gonna choose a secure password and I'm gonna hit submit it says everything went right delete the files used for installation that's recommended so the one I'm gonna do right now here it says no invoice found so far create a new invoice so by default I'm logged in uh, if you want you can log out and you can go back and log in once again using your credentials so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm again to the like to the very main page uh, from here I can create new invoices uh, by default we have the currency to you know like uh, USD dollars if you want you can go into the settings tab and you can change the currency from here there are you know ton of currency that you can choose from and in case if you uh, if you found that any of the currency is missing you can contact me and I'm gonna add it there so I believe guys that's all from the installation process if you have any questions you can contact me directly through code cannon or you can you know contact me through email um, uh, like on this particular email called support at the rate So I believe that's all. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Goodbye.